Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. This past weekend, I spent Memorial Day weekend in Indianapolis, Indiana at the Indy 500. I was a guest of the uh, Junkos Hollinger racing team. And that was because uh, I make a contribution when you join this channel to the Children's Hospital uh, Race for uh, Cure for Cancer here in Birmingham. And they are part of the sponsorship of the Junkos Hollinger racing team. So that's why I was there with Nita and, and my uh, grandson, Aiden. And what I discovered after talking to um, the Junkos uh, Hollinger owners, I became aware of their business and how their business is run and how the whole racing industry is uh, works. Actually, how the whole sporting industries work and how I believe they have not caught up with the digital revolution. Oh, they have, they have their websites and and they they promote their teams on their websites, uh, and they do a little bit of advertising, but not much. They just have not gained awareness of social media marketing. And I believe as a result of a small company that is pre-IPO, they are going to drastically change the way advertising works. It is be going to become targeted. Let me explain. There were 350,000 people there last Sunday, along with myself, Nita, and Aiden, the largest single sporting event in the world. And what I realized was this was a community. I sat down at tables with people from all over the world who were coming to this event. And they had, for the past years, many years, watched it on TV, and or maybe they have been coming for quite a few years, as I had. But they were a community. They, 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 they knew their drivers. They knew their team owners. They wanted to be a part of this greatest spectacle in racing. And I believe from what I learned this weekend, there is a pre-IPO out there that is going to change the way these people approach their industry. How Roger Penske is going to become aware that he needs to build a community that will make that 350,000 people who attend it, as well as the 6 million who watched on TV, feel become a part of something bigger than themselves. And that's what we all want, whether it's in sports, whether it's in religion, whether it's participation in our cause, we want to feel a part of something bigger than ourselves. And Facebook doesn't do it. Google doesn't do it. But there is a small IPO that I'm aware of that is going to do it. That's what this video is about. I watched CNBC this morning and they told me I should be investing in utilities and energy. But excuse me, while I was out of town, Weren't, aren't we trying to get away from the fossil fuels? Aren't we trying to become uh, energy efficient? Why would I invest in energy and utilities when there's this small IPO that has been tried to be purchased by one of the big six that is going to change the social media marketing world. And in this video and the following two videos, I'm going to share what I've learned and ask you to share what you know about this major change. This is not financial advice. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier.
There were 350,000 fans at the race. There were 6 million viewers, and the TV rights for that race sold uh, for $20 million, and it was paid to the Indy Racing League by NBC. So there's $20 million there. Marcus Erickson won the race. His purse was $3.1 million, and the total purse was $16 million. So you see the exchange of money, plus the cost that Roger Penske had of putting on the race, okay? That's that one event, Okay, and so if we use those raw numbers and we got a guess at what it cost him to put it on, he might walk away with a couple million dollars. Okay, that's the 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 money workings of it. The team will talk about that later as to how they operate. What I saw there at the race was that the the fans don't root for particularly the team, the, the Penske Racing Team or the Andretti Racing Team uh, or the uh, Junkos Hollinger. They re, they root for the driver. To give you some kind of uh, uh, comparison, Sony Records or Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift has 183 million followers on uh, Instagram. So if I look at that and say what in essence Taylor has done is given herself as a part of the marketing. She sings songs and she writes songs, but she markets herself. What I don't see the Indy Racing League or in particular the the NFL or the National uh, Baseball League or the NBA or the Soccer League, that these leagues have recognized that what they need to be marketing is not so much the, the race, but as they need to be marketing the individuals, the drivers, just as Taylor Swift markets herself. And this is where they're missing it, because I then said, okay, what if they took this six million people and created a community of it? So Roger Penske, here's the numbers. You've got 6 million fans. What if you could turn those 6 million fans, 10% of them, into loyal uh, followers, fans like like uh, Taylor Swift has, and bring them to a common cause, build a community, build a tribe, and then give them something that they want, and that is access to the inner workings, as I received this past weekend, of how the whole program works, how the, I got to go into the facility where they built the cars, and I came to understand how that system works and I be, all of a sudden became aware that the the car owners only get one Chevrolet engine, and that Chevrolet engine is not started until the Chevrolet technician shows up the day of the race and tunes it. I'll show you him tuning the car. Okay, I guess it's ready to run. The Chevrolet technicians are done. I was given privy to information. I was able to go and stand at the pits and listen to that car start it as they tested it. Believe me, I found this impossible to believe, but that engine in that car was not started until that Chevrolet technician started it. I now know something that other people don't know. I have understood the workings. What if there was a chat room that I could go to that was sponsored by the Indy Racing League, that I could learn things like that, that I could get back in behind the workings of it, that I could understand how this Indy Racing worked. What if those six million fans were able to access? What if then beyond that, I could access the team that I was interested in and the driver that I was interested in? And that driver, rather than tweeting on Twitter, did his his 
communication on a regular basis with me, the fan, and and I could get asked, and then sometimes maybe once a month, he would have a, a Zoom call or a video call where I could interact with him. And e- even if I stood in the background and just listened, but I became a part of that driver's world, and I understood him. And what if it then cost me different levels? If I wanted just to be involved in in the indie racing, I would pay one level. This is called a discord. This is what I have in my world for my fans of my channel. What I realized is Roger knows nothing about this. The, the team owners of of um, Junus Hollinger know nothing about this. They do not know how to market themselves through Discord to reach out to their 6 million fans and say, we want you to be special. We want you to to feel a part of us, and we will reward you accordingly. And let's say that we had different levels that they could participate in, maybe as cheap as three dollars a month or as much as 25 dollars a month and so when they came to the race they would have a badge that said i am a platinum member i am a major supporter of the indy racing league i am a major reporter uh, a, a sponsor of uh, julio castroneves and they could wear that badge and feel a part of something bigger than themselves. Let's run the numbers, Roger. You got 6 million fans. If you could get 10% of them to become a part of your Discord, and that would be 600000 If they paid you $10 a month to be a part of your Discord, that would raise $6 million a month. Times 12, that's $72 million. That's 3.5 times what NBC paid you for the rights to distribute the race on TV. And the cost to you is minuscule compared to what it cost you to put that race on and the profit that you would take at. Now you would need to share it with the teams and the drivers, which that's a wonderful thing too. And then what happens to the race? Does it become similar to, we don't care if Taylor Swift wins an Emmy. So now maybe we don't care if Julio Castroneves finishes ninth rather than first. He's our driver. We 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 are loyal to Julio, and thus that loyalty of sponsor, sponsorships transfers as well. We change the whole perspective of the Indy 500. What I'm telling you then also is that that same change of perspective can be adapted by Roger Adele, the the commissioner of the NFL. That same change can be adopted by Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, or Robert Mansfield Jr. of Major uh, League Baseball. These people now can speak directly to their audience. They can make them feel a part of something bigger than themselves. How is this all possible? It's all possible by a small company by the name of Discord. It was started by a guy by the name of Jason Citron. Jason last year was offered $10 billion for his little Discord company by Microsoft. Jason, I think you know where this is going. I think you know that you are going to challenge Facebook, Google, Twitter, you name it, Pinterest, YouTube, because you have the means to speak directly to me and for and you have the means to monitor my activity, and you don't have the restrictions 
that Facebook has. You are, Jason, you are the lion killer. You are the Goliath killer. And I don't think many people recognize it. I'm watching your IPO. I'm going to be a buyer. What I want to do, though, now is I want to dig in deeper, and tomorrow's video is going to be explaining how is Discord better than Facebook for the Indy 500, for National uh, League, uh, the, the National Football League, or maybe the NCAA. Can you imagine the Discord channel that you get access to the whole NCAA, and then you can bring it down to your team? I don't know where this is going. I don't know if Alabama will have its Discord or it will be the NCAA, but this is going to happen. This is a part of the Digital Revolution 3.0, and nobody else knows about it, other than Jason and I. I think Jason knows where it's going. I think Mark Zuckerberg knows where it's going, and he's scrambling as fast as he can to say, how can I change uh, Facebook groups into something that is more personal to carry, that can speak to exactly what he's interested in. I call this the God concept. We all need to feel we are a part of something bigger than ourselves. And we have done it through the church, through the synagogue, through the temple, that we choose to be a part of. What I think is that Jason Citron, founder of Discord, figured it out. And if he hasn't, Jason, give me a call. I'll share my insights. That's what I'm good at. I, I, I'm not good at telling you what the stock market's going to do this week or next month. What I'm good at is connecting the dots. And I took a trip uh, 600 miles up the road, 800, eight hours of driving, and I went and spent two days at the Indianapolis 500, and this is what I figured out. If this is the way you want to think, if you want to be a part of something bigger than yourself, come join my tribe. Come join my tribe. Come be part of my Discord. Okay, I'm excited about this. I got two more videos that I want to explore this further, and we're going to put Discord on our watch list. This is not financial advice. This is what I think is the best financial education you can find in any university, in any YouTube channel, maybe in any Discord other than my own. All right, let's, do, let's talk about this a little further tomorrow. This is Julio Castroneves' car. He was the winner last year and uh, something of a favorite of most fans. <laughs> yeah, you can.
the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500. It's Memorial Weekend. We want to thank the men and women in our military and our first responders who make our country safe and secure so we can have the greatest spectacle in racing, the Indianapolis 500. Be safe, have fun, and now for the command, drivers, start your engine!